Hello everyone, today we're going to explain the key technology behind Max Covered Cooling, the focus of our latest Oris RTX 30 series graphics cards. The RTX 30 cards are energy hungry beasts. Both the RTX 3080 and 3090 consume over 300 watts at their peak, which means more heat will be generated when handling your favorite AAA game titles or heavy load tasks such as 3D rendering. That's the reason why we focus on improving cooling for the Oris RTX 30 series. After all, only with superior thermal management can you get the best performance out of your GPU. So let's jump in into the Max Covered fan design. There are three major technological components. Number one, stacked fans. Number two, the wind claw. And number three, alternated spinning. The stacked fan is the most important feature under the Max Covered cooling system. On traditional graphics cards, there is a three fan design. There's a space left between each fan called the dead zone. This part of the card receives little to no airflow, resulting in heat accumulation and affecting performance over time. The Oris design team came up with a unique solution. To make it better, we made it bigger, creating the largest fans on the GPU ever. By enlarging the fan size and by stacking the outer fans over the middle one, we eliminated these dead zones, guaranteeing 100% airflow coverage over the entire heatsink. Next is the wind claw. It's a stationary fan blade under the left and right fans which channels more air around the fan to the heatsink, increasing both the airflow pressure and thermal efficiency. Lastly, alternated spinning is the tech that we've been using since the GTX 10 series. However, when three fans rotate in the same direction, there will be turbulence between each fan which negatively causes heat dissipation. We've solved this by alternating the direction of the middle fan thereby reducing turbulence and promising better heat dissipation. We hope you enjoyed our explainer video behind Max Covered Cooling on our Oris RTX 30 series graphics cards. If you want to learn more about how our cooling will affect benchmarks and performance, stay tuned for our Oris RTX 30 series launch event on September 17th. Thanks for watching.